Hello teachers, today we're going to be talking about the main features of Google Drawings and how you can use it in your classroom. Go ahead and start by going to drive.google.com, open up your Google Drive, and we're going to create a, a new document. So we'll click on the new, and come down to more, and you see here we have Google Drawings. So we'll go ahead and open this up, and we'll just look at some of the, the basic features we have here. Um, if you're used to using Google Docs, Google Drive, then this is going to be uh, very similar to that. First thing we want to look at is just the line tool. You can draw a little line there. You can uh, change the color of it, how thick the line is. Um, you can talk about what you want it to start, you know, and what you want it to end as. So you can change that a little bit uh, in there as well in the line. You also just have an arrow tool, so you can just draw your arrow. Here's um, what they call an elbow connector. So um, just the different types of uh, lines we have inside of this. Let's see, curve connector. There we go. So you can see how maybe some of this can be used for your math class. This one is called um, the curve, and what you have to do is you have to click, and then click again, and then click again, like double click if you want to end it. So that's how you would make, um, you know, uh, a different shape for you can tell um, parabola or whatever for for math class. So that's how that one works. Um, polyline, you can every time you click, it just makes a new point for you in your Google Drawing. So once you connect it, there we go. Um, ready to go. You can fill that in. Um, you can, all, you know, all the different types of shapes you can do. Line color, you can make the line color transparent if you want that to go away. You can do that as well. So those are just a couple of the main features there inside. And then the last one here is Scribble where you can just Oh, I'm not doing a very good job there, but you can see how that works. You can uh, write whatever you want to inside a Google Drawing. All right, and then the next thing we're going to look at is shapes. You can come in and once again you can click shape. You can feel it like we looked at earlier. Um, you can make that line a different color that goes around the outside of it if you want. Same thing. You can you can. Um, once the shape's highlighted, you get all these other features. You can change how it's filled in, the line weight. Um, you know, once again, I can go through here and make it transparent if I want. I can make the box transparent if I want. Obviously, you'd have to bring back the line then, wouldn't you? So, you can do a couple different things there with the shapes. Um, you'll see some of the arrows and the different shapes you can include here. Call out to something else I wanted to, uh, to to talk about. You know, you've, you've got the little call outs. I know a lot of times in school students make a little comic, you know, maybe a comic strip or um, an activity like that. That would be kind of cool for a little activator so the students uh, create their own Google drawing um, explaining a topic maybe that you learned yesterday, that kind of stuff. So that would be pretty neat. The equation editor you can, uh, you know, uh, put in some different, different things to make it look like a, uh, you know, so we'll do, we'll do word art, we'll say 8 plus, and then insert word art again, you see how I did that, insert word art, 9, and then we'll go back to the shapes and do the equation and equal sign, so there you have a little, um, you know, a little math problem there on the board. So you can do different things like that as well. Um, next thing I want to do is kind of look at it as uh, inserting an image. So I'm going to click on insert and go to image here. There's a lot of different options you have. You can just search in your Google Drive what you have, your albums, URL, take something off the internet, take a snapshot from your computer, or you can search the web. So that takes you uh, just similar to inserting an image in a document or a, a slide presentation. When I click on choose an image to upload, this is going to pull from my computer. So um, let's go into my pictures here. And one of my first pictures here. And we'll just put this in here. 
looks like a picture of my aquarium. Uh, like I see once again, you have all the different uh, ways that you can insert an image into a drawing. Um, once this is inserted, so here's a picture of my aquarium. You just kind of see how. Uh, let's do. I want to do scribble. I want to do like a line. Let's point to here. Let's make that red. We'll make it a little thicker. And then now, I'll delete that out. I'll go to um, shape and do a call out. So now, what is this here? This is. Um, and what's cool about the call out is you can just click right in and go. This is a sale fin tang, we'll point to here. And just like in docs or anything else, you can change how big it is and, and the font and the different styles as well. So you can see that there. Um, see insert word art. My favorite fish. And go and put that up there at the top. Um, I can pull up Wikipedia here. Uh, you see, I already researched self in Tang, so I can uh, let's just take it from the top here. Copy this. We'll open my drawing back up, and we're going to insert a text box now. So I can put that in, you know, and just kind of paste in all that information there. Once again, highlight that. It's a little too small to read. We'll make it too big. So um, we can we can kind of do it like that. You also have the ability to, to use the research tool in here as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and highlight Indian Ocean. Right click on that and go to research Indian Ocean. So it pulls up our little research box, a little research window over here. And there's a, a good image of the Indian Ocean. So let's just go ahead and pull that over. Um, pull that image over right here for us. And I want to show you a little bit about um, order. So I, if I right clicked on that, I can actually send that backward. So, you know, now it's uh, behind that text box. Or I can, you know, um, I can send it all the way. I send it backwards once. I can also send it all the way to the back, and now I'll be able. To, it'll go underneath the the previous picture. So, do a couple things there. You can also inside of Google Drawings, you can also um, crop an image. So when I click on this, here's my little crop tool. So I can bring this in a little bit if I wanted to, and still have a nice little image that fits on my page. So I guess you could call this uh, an interactive poster, you know, great for present one slide presentations and different things like that. Um, I've also seen teachers use the use Google Drawings as a, a notes page where they can, you know, put in different, um, you know, as a, almost like a graphic organizer. You could create an entire graphic organizer right here inside of Google Drawings and share it out with your students. So there are a lot of different ideas of using Google Drawings in, in education, so hopefully you can see a benefit of incorporating them in your classroom.